Nengwe is located in the present Aniri local government area of Enugu State, dating way back. In the north, it shares boundaries with Ogugu and Ogwako. In the south, with Ngbo, and in the east, Oduma, Nome, and in the west, with Mako. It lies along the Port Harcourt Aba Umahia Ogu Enugu Road, and this divides the village into two, with the Amoji village occupying the west side, while Uweze, Emudo, and Agbada occupy the other side. Nengwe was once considered a rainforest, but it is now turned into a derived savanna. Thomas Jefferson once said that I like the dreams of the future better than the history of the past. <laughs> As if to counter what he said, Martin Luther King says, we do not make history, we are made by history. This documentary you are about to watch is about how history has made a place and made a people. Welcome to Nenwe, where we will see the grits and gallantry of a people made by history. A great hunter from Nenweta on one of his hunting expeditions found a place where he admired. He thought the place to be isolated unoccupied, fertile, and untampered, and so he decided to move there. And so, this was where it all started, right at this spot, when Jokunwe came from many, many villages away. went. he came to settle down here in Nemwe. Yes. It was a very good expedition for the hunter because he went to Nenwenta and came back and for not too long he began to spend more time in Nenwe. His wives were wondering. They didn't know the secret. They got to know it sometime later when they noticed that he brought good game home and yet there was no threat from animals. Before long, they came here to settle with him. His two wives had four sons, Uheze, Emudu, Amoji, and Agbada. Those four sons now make up the four villages that are called Nenwe. Just by the side of Jokunwe's house, he built a shrine here. At the spot, it is known as the Ekeuku. It is called Ekeuku as he started his building on EKD. The growth of the town was swift as people migrated there because of its boundless opportunities and the blessings of Ali, the great deity. The land and rivers did favor them. Many years went by and then it came, the message from Edda. 
let me tell you the story. One of its stories, the most popular in fact, in Nenwe, the cultural history of the Okokoro festival. This is how it started. Nenwe, the peaceful town, was there. And they got a message from Eda. Yes. I'm at a timing point. The people of Eda sent that emissary that we are going to give them our seven damsels, baskets of yam and the everything we have. People were stunned because you hardly displace a daughter of Nengwe community. Because if you misplace such, the effort will continue in your compound ad infinitum. You might never have a, a, a daughter. So, Nengwe consulted Ali, deity. Ali looked at it and said, go and fight them. Don't give them any Nengwe human being. Fight to finish. And Nengwe consulted and met the other people. There was a very tall giant called giant Oryo Ryugo. They will just place him in front and the multitude of warriors will be following him. He will be marching houses down. Hmm. And he was from Eda. From Eda. That's their giant. It was that giant that, with that giant, they, have every, they thought that they have every force. Because they conquered all other communities beyond Nengwe. It was Nengwe that waged the war. It's just the area, this, around this area. Around this area, they were there, they fought. And uh, the giant was stamping people to the ground. And one young man said, what is this? My people, my land, our ancestors, this is our land and not that of others. Please help us. He went under the man and they cut this artery with a very sharp knife and cut this one. Before you know it, certain trembling. Whoa, like this, I can eat a Iroko tree. Hmm. People marched on him, and he, as if that was, was not enough, they now faced those warriors who thought they were uh, traditional winners, and routed them up, and they massacred all of them. Over the years, the Okokoro Festival was celebrated every year, marked with jubilation and merrymaking. Kokoro, look at she, she, why? bo Legoshai lo kukoro, boriri, aliri, adurula anu, meri nengwe meri ndiada. Kamaru wasara kukoro, yema na ibo mumu mazi, au ihai koro mako. Hmm. Kendi, na ihai koro mako si, na kukoro ha, na ihai ihai jamu, ukoro biyani biye. Ya, oye meri ro kukoro biyani biye. Oge, kenge kureje kure, ora bo gwa kukoro ha, ana wa kwa. Yeah, dim one a dim one. I know it's you walk I. Oh, for you, what you can walk it? I think I go walk I. In that one, the man I met married. The body I move I know. I will say I did not read. Yeah, I read or read. So I read or read. I cannot walk or go die. Yeah, I did not. I can't walk. I can't walk. They say it. Me like this. The sick. That is. He can. He can. He can. Dim. I don't ask him. Yeah. I let. Yeah. He not. He not be so like this. What give you a room so see? We will do. Then we will just walk and tell you who. Yeah, oh yeah, walk and deliver. We wait to see again, Anna. You want to know? You buy your beer, buy your meal, and I'm a miracle.
I celebrated it last when I was 10 years old. I was in primary school then. That was about uh, 38 years now. So it used to be a tra pure traditional thing without any fetish invent, right? But uh, up to now, they limit it to the traditional institution managers called Ndani. I can remember that during that very time, my mom then, my late mom, we cook one special native food and asked me to send it to my grandmother's place, take this one to my uncle's place, take this one to my niece. That is how we exchange gift of food then. It was a joyful moment. But alas, civilization has always changed the face of tradition and we forget the past and its beauty. Also, <laughs> I find this a bit unique among Nengwe people. My, my, my people don't know that, you know, we do not add a conchi. Nengwe ala conchi. And if, what is a uh, ekonshi? In, uh, in English, it, you can say Nengwe does not poison people, but that is not a correct translation. I mean, uh, it's just to, for people to understand. It means that Nengwe would not give anything that you can kill a fellow Nengwe person. And of course, the values, you know, this value, this uh, uh, respect for life of uh, your fellow, uh, we can now extend it to other uh, uh, human beings, not just Nengwe people, not just uh, uh, avoiding killing of any Nengwe people, but uh, killing life at all. That's why I, I always argue that uh, many towns and villages around Nengwe should borrow a leaf from the cultural values of Nengwe people. We have an organization that called Nengwe Integrity Foundation. We are just trying our best. We have a blueprint now. We are just trying our best to know whether we can revive it. We have started making some consultations from those traditional rulers, the custodians of uh, our ancestral home, to know whether we can revive it. Because if we do revive it, it will be an interesting Sunday, and I think everybody must will enjoy it. People still come here for safety. It is said that when shots of bullets are coming, if you come into this spot, you are safe. People will still believe that story up till today. It is also said that this road around here, you do not pass a dead body across this place. Or when you come here, you must tell the truth because if you lie, the Ekeuku Shrine will know that you have lied. And before you know it, you are dead. This is Ekeuku Shrine. I Shrine. Israel, 
Evangelist Israel, Egypt, but also Balat Africa. Babido Ali, I would do Aloe Bulandi, Ibo Bundi, Israel. Ya Blana, I want Bailey. Dave Abundi, and one last, I let you be lady. Kembo, na. Ya lot of week, and we can learn your foot at La. Oh, we can't broom, I love even to call Bala, and your name will be David. Come on, even my black Bundu G, like a little crib, Malaya. Be valid as a fighting. Then we revalue a colour look away, which he got a bally lawyer. Gulliana last soon dinner way. They will hinder us and will ask sweet rally lawyer. Carry and dinner way. Nakalambe, Luba, Bacal, Emera, Luzo, Dick. Gubali Hal, Onya, you put a revolver, we will approve, or she will leave you, put on your lashy, Alleluia, Alleluia, even more good. Over the Calais, you put a lash, you know, I'll buy a wish, will do Alleluia. And then we're bombarding so. I to shiri la kwe rugu ma gba kwa mbo nyo benya nyo mi enye nyo mi lo mwe di la ne mwe me la le ha ma do ke ke kwe shiri ifu wozo ma ka odo mka yeso ndi izi zi chukwu kefte olo wala you know i like modernization and civilization because it has brought better lifestyle better schools better technology uh, better health care and in fact, our lives have become better because of technology. But does modernization and civilization, does it make us or does it mean that we should forget our history? It is said that any people that do not pay proper attention to its history risks a dangerous shallow route and also risks starving its generation of great imagination. Our people, our roots are very important. And so, Newe has great cultural history. With the coming of civilization into Newe in 1907, as the first British troop from Ukigwe visited Newe town, things began to change. They appointed prominent men from each village as warrant chiefs to act as middlemen between them and the people. This changed the culture of having Ali as their deity god and its chief priests as custodians. As time went on, the deity chief priests began to withdraw from the day-to-day -day administration of the town affairs. Today, each of the four villages is governed by a council of elders selected by its own people. There are also social clubs, age grades and women associations all formed to promote progress and development in the town. The people of Nenwe have many cultures and traditions that they hold dear and try to ensure that the values are upheld and sustained despite the passage of time. Their love for the tradition is overwhelming. Many people have this um, kind of love for the tradition. People of different places have their own customs and traditions, but the peculiarity of the tradition of the people of Nenwe stands out. Take for instance, they, they do not mix the issue of their traditional festivals with that of Christianity that has come to, to play in modern day times. They keep to certain festivals that they do, like during the October period of every year, there's a particular festival that they do and they believe that every married woman will come up and, and partake and partake in that festival. That of last year was outstanding. It was the first I experienced and I enjoyed it because it goes a long way to encourage the morality and the faithfulness of couples. They also have another tradition which they believe is important to them, most especially in terms of bonding and oneness. Every January, beginning of every year, they go on group hauntings. 
we hunt, they move from one community to the other. From Amonji, because Newe is actually made up of um, three, uh, four communities. The um, Amonji, Agbada, Uweze, and Emudo. So they, they move from one community to the other, hunting together as a group. I can tell you, in terms of culture and tradition and values, I grew up in Newe as a small boy. Uh, throughout my uh, primary school days, I was in Newe. I can tell you uh, that uh, uh, Nemwe has unique cultural values. My father told me that if you steal anything, you are finished. Your life is finished. No matter how rich you become in future, nobody will respect you. My father tells me it is better to be poor than be caught stealing. One of our adages, Lash Lord Ukama, Part of that is if we think there is something that we know, we can make a direct approach to our Igwe's, the forum. But in so doing, what we also need to do prior to getting there is number one, understand ourselves, understand what we want to achieve, and look at how we can actually, I wouldn't like to say, to say sell the idea because selling the idea is like it's commercial commercial activity. No, what we want to do is embed our cultural identity, bring it out to the fore. And part of bringing it out to the fore is going to new ways and presenting it to them to see perhaps an aspect of us that may have been underplayed more than anything, and it's a question of bringing those to the front, and we still achieve exactly the same thing. And nobody is trying to say that the Christian side of it is any worse or better or anything. We are just trying to see how the two ideologies, perhaps, can coexist mutually without um, being I've heard so much stories and uh, histories about what's happened in the Newe and they marvel me that by the time I ask one or two people, they say, ah, oh, we don't even know about that. So that, it really brought me to uh, the realization that the culture, people are losing their culture. People are losing their identity just because of modernization. A lot of things have been dropped uh, along the way and it, it beats me to, to say the least. So we took up this project just to help capture an aspect of Newe culture. We hope to do more. Um, I could remember when we were young, our parents used to tell us stories, they called us together, you know, told us the normal, uh, the fictitious ones, and, um, and then the real stories. We really enjoyed the, um, the stories back then. But these days we find out that the culture is dying or has already died. So that's why we actually said, okay, yeah, we know the power of the media, especially what Nollywood has come to be. So we, as, a, as an actress, I've decided to, you know, help preserve such cultures. I've decided to use film and documentary to capture the culture of a people, but we're starting with Newe. Vabula la gali yun la doma ge mwere de oku jela boya. Oku is the power of the kile. Malasteli ke ke chine ke. Ela ega pa limere ya boku ambla. Atutunde aje kudere sahabja kufute udivla ili kule. La vuya la aja rijhe uru ba wanye ego. Emo ni la shiabja. Oshila shila ndi Nollywood. Bu habi ame bu interview. 
The language of the people is a part of culture that should be passed down to the next generation. I would rather start my advice for the older ones, people like you and I. Our language is dying. And that is because we no longer speak our language and our dialect to our own children. It is not their fault. You cannot give what you don't have. The ones you say, the future generation, they are coming from us. Our parents brought us speaking our dialect. Our parents brought us up knowing the various aspects of Nemwe culture using name way to explain it to us. Mado li vila shan heje uteru abuba nao, heje uteru uya. Mado li vila shan heje uteru mkume, heje uteru uya, heje uteru ayon. Because we are speaking too much English to our own children and it is killing our language, it is also killing our culture. We have quite a lot of cultural um, identities that are rather fragmented in various ways and this will give us an opportunity of trying to piece them together and let us enrich get us the enrichment of various other uh, uh, festivals and cultural ways of doing things even uh, at their end, our marriages are almost the same but they still vary from town to town or no, 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 from villages to villages. These would be nice if we can bring them all together. The town has in the last few years seen educational development through the philanthropic moves of its people. I in 1935, St. David's Zobov was built. In 1934, St. Paul's was built. In 1917, St. Peter's was built. Only St. Peter's, only St. Peter's, but she followed her hand. Joko, all my colleagues, when they name these are prominent men. You hear of uh, late squadron leader John Ikoku. Uh, people like uh, Captain GMC Ude, Godwin Ude. So how can I carry? I don't know in the What she in for instance, yes, I school name But from me, keep on the name where Metro Mehaka, they just came up together and said, okay, there is no girls secondary school in Nemwe. We need one. And people rallied around them, and we established one. That's how we have uh, Nenwe girls now. Speaking on crime, the divisional police officer of Nenwe Police Station shows that crime rate is lower now compared to a few years ago. People outside sometimes think bad of um, a community until they get into that community. You know, before I came here, I was told by the then CP of the state that Nenwe is a flashpoint and that some years back, some police officers were killed. But the people are clamoring to have a police station there. So at the time I came, I came with that impression that the people were this aggressive kind of people. But having stayed for a while, I can tell you categorically, it is a different thing entirely from what I heard before I came into Newway. Today, Newway 
is fast becoming a modern town, even with modern occupation and all its hazards. But one thing must be done. All hands must be on deck to bring back the culture and traditions forgotten or cast away that bind the Nainwe people together. This is a call to all Nainwe leaders and people from Uweze, Emudo, Amoji and Agbada to join hands and reignite that flame and passion for the culture, the dying festivals, the forgotten bonding activities that make the Nainwe man and woman unique and proud. The people still find joy in their music and dance. Those are the captivating steps of Newe. Beautiful and joyful steps of the town. You see, Newe town is not only blessed with hills, rivers, ancestral shrines, and the beautiful scenery. It is blessed with good dance and instruments. And this dance are used, this kind of dance used for celebrations. Celebrations like Agbomoku, that's like marriages, funerals, festivals, in fact, all kinds of celebrations. The dance enthralling, it takes you in and you want to just get yourself sucked in. Ah, come and join me and let's dance the name way dance. That is where joy resides. Ah.